One of the biggest problems in the 21st century is the energy problem. How long can our existing energy sources last? How sustainable are those energy sources? Not only do we owe our next generation an answer, we also owe it to ourselves to make our environment more sustainable and pleasant. The chief cause of our energy problem is fossil fuels. It's exhaustible and it is depleting fast. Moreover, one of the side products of burning fossil fuels is carbon dioxide, and it is also the chief culprit that's accelerating global warming, making our weather more unpredictable and causing extreme weather conditions such as tornadoes and hurricanes. The design of industrial plant to handle fissile solutions safely. How to put this vast energy to work in the power plants to run the turbines of tomorrow. The energy problem is even more acute in developing countries like China as it is quickly industrializing and energy is the backbone of its growth. In order to solve that problem, China has now started building an artificial sun to tackle its energy crisis and it's projected to finish in 2021. China has already built one last year and achieved some initial success. They're planning to complete another full-scale industrial prototype by 2035 and starting commercializing that technology in 2050. By that time, energy generated from these artificial suns will be literally inexhaustible. These artificial suns we are talking about is in fact running on nuclear fusion technology. This is something that's tremendously exciting and I've talked about it publicly on my Twitter and I believe that there are five areas that might usher in the next wave of industrial revolution and nuclear fusion technology is one of them. So how does it work? Well, most of us are somewhat familiar with nuclear fission technology because that's what nuclear plants around the world use right now. But after the Fukushima accident, fission technology is no longer considered safe. At the very foundation of both nuclear fusion and fission technology is the scientific discovery that tremendous energy is stored within an atom. And if we break it up or form a larger atom with two smaller ones, mass is either lost or gained. And as the famous formula E equals MC square explains, a tiny change in mass before and after a reaction could be translated to a huge amount of energy due to the speed of light squared. Nuclear fusion in particular combines two small atoms in a closed environment to form a helium atom and a neutron. This technology, if controlled precisely, could be a perfect energy source for our future. Currently, the Chinese are leading in this field. So far, it has already built one experimental artificial sun in Hefei, China called EAST, Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak. This facility is able to achieve a temperature of over 100 million Celsius. That's more than six times the temperature found at the core of the sun. It also holds the world record for sustaining discharge pause for over 100 seconds. But this is simply the first step. Scientists in China have recently started building a second artificial sun, planning to achieve temperature of around 200 million Celsius and a longer time of discharge. Another milestone in nuclear fusion research truly amazing work. However, even at this scale, the electric energy needed to heat up the environment is still more than the energy generated. Therefore, we're still far from making the breakthrough that is required to commercialize fusion technology. Yet we're spending billions of dollars every year on fusion projects around the world. So there must be some benefit of fusion technology that far outweighs this cost. And there are. Characteristics of fusion technology makes it almost a perfect candidate for replacing fossil fuels. Firstly, with nuclear fusion or the artificial sun, we will truly enter an era of inexhaustible energy supply. Fusing atoms together in a controlled way releases nearly 4 million times more energy than a chemical reaction such as the burning of coal, oil, or gas, and four times as much as nuclear fission reaction at an equal mass. It is easily one of the most efficient way to generate energy that we know of. On top of that, fusion fuels are widely available. Deuterium, an isotope of hydrogen and the chief material needed for fusion reaction, can be distilled from all forms of water, while tritium will be produced during the fusion reaction as fusion neutrons interact with lithium. We now know that terrestrial reserve of lithium would permit the operation of fusion power plants for more than a thousand years, while sea-based reserve of lithium 
will fulfill needs for millions of years. Secondly, fusion reaction is completely environmentally friendly. Comparing to fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, fusion technology does not permit toxins like carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Its major byproduct is helium, an inert, non-toxic gas. Comparing to its brother nuclear fission technology, nuclear fusion reactors produce no high activity, long-lived nuclear waste. The activation of components in a fusion reactor is low enough for the material to be recycled or reused within a hundred years, so there's no need to store radioactive waste for a long period of time. Lastly, fusion technology is safe. It has limited risk of proliferation. Fusion doesn't employ fissile materials like uranium and plutonium. There are no enriched materials in a fusion reactor like the Chinese artificial sun that could be exploited to make nuclear weapons. Nuclear fusion technology also possesses no risk of meltdown. A Fukushima-style nuclear accident is not possible in a tokamak fusion device. It is difficult enough to reach and maintain the precise conditions necessary for fusion. If any disturbance occurs, the plasma cools within seconds and the reaction stops. The quantity of fuel present in the vessel at any one time is enough for a few seconds only, and there is no risk of a chain reaction like what happened in Fukushima. Finally, on top of being inexhaustible, environmentally friendly, and safe, here's why nuclear fusion technology is so significant that it's gonna accelerate the next wave of industrial revolution. Nuclear fusion technology is a revolution in fundamental science. It is an energy revolution that is at the very foundation of every industry in the world. That was true when we discovered oil and gas, and it will again be true for nuclear fusion technology. Imagine a world where no companies have to pay carbon taxes and instead invest more in R&D. I'm sure the outcome will be great, especially in creating a better social and economic conditions. At the very least, nuclear fusion technology will be the best thing that has ever happened to our environment and for the billions of people who still do not have sustainable electricity.